athletes, I know that we are always looking to fight and compete. And even if we have injuries, you know, we're not really telling anybody because we're hoping that these injuries are going to heal up before fights. But, you know, this last month I had five athletes and three of their opponents got injured on fight week. So that is crazy. So whatever you're doing on fight week, that's kind of a, a different story, right? There's really no reason you should be injured on fight week. That should just be a week where you're doing weight management and just fine tuning. Um, but the other thing is some people are getting injured and not saying anything. Okay, so, you know, especially if you're their professional level, that's super unprofessional. Make sure that you're communicating, communicating with the promoter so that they can start looking for a backup. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're not gonna make it to the fight or that they're still not gonna use you, but if you give a promotion two or three weeks heads up that you might not make it to a show, they have some time to fill in a backup for your opponent. It's really unfair to your opponent that you not say anything and then two days away from the fight, you're having to pull out from an injury that you already knew about, you know, again, we're all the same, you know, you and your opponent have more in common than probably people in your family do, right? I mean, you're screwing over this person who shares so many similar lifestyles to you, you know. For the pros, it's tough, you're taking a paycheck away from another athlete. So, you know, I implore all the athletes out there just to communicate. If you have an injury come up, let the promoter know. You can still fight if it gets better, but at least they can start doing the preliminary things that they're gonna need to do to find a replacement.